Hello there guys and welcome to day one of my Unreal Engine 4, or my second Unreal Engine 4 7 day game challenge. Uh, this time I've opted to do something that I've never done before and go ahead and try and make a single player RPG. Now the main uh, things that I know I'm going to need to work on in this game are things such as random loot chests, um, mobs and bosses. Uh, I'm trying to do this in a medieval style. Ish. I'm really not focusing much on graphics this time, I know that that's been my downfall on my previous game challenges, so this one's really going to be focused on mechanics, how does the game play, um, and things like that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate really what I've got uh, so far. So, if you just give me a second to move him back to the start, we can begin from there. So, the idea is that you're going to wake up in this chamber with your bed here. You'll uh, grab your staff from the corner, which your character already has in his hand in this case, and you'll learn a spell. So the first spell you'll learn is this Fell Blast. So if I left click now, you'll see the magic gathers and then it fires off a blast which then uh, explodes upon impact. Um, so we can open this door here. So we can fire the spell all the way down the corridor there, we can chase it, you can see the green light travels, and when it hits the end, it explodes, leaving Fell Shards everywhere that they touch uh, and they eventually disappear so you can kind of really dot these around and you know have some kind of cool effects with these um, I think it looks pretty cool anyway uh, so the other, other thing that I've got working is whilst this projectile does travel in a straight line it's also possible to to as Neo would say or oh, what's the film I think it's um, there's a film where they curve the bullet but anyway the idea is that you can right click to lock onto a target and you can see there that this is my enemy um, obviously it's not an enemy model at the minute, it's just a stationary ball, but it's for getting things working. So if I aim over towards a doorway, you'll notice that the thing tries to curve around and hit the enemy, but it doesn't quite hit it, so if you just aim close to the enemy, you will be able to curve the spell and hit them. So if I just aim over there, you'll see that the spell curves. And if I unlock the target, it should be unlocked, I hope. Yeah, you'll see that it fires straight forward. So if I right click back on it, You'll see that we can relock onto the target, fire again in the same place, and it will this time curl and hit the enemy. The spell explosion also has a radial foresight to run it, so if I fire that at the ground, you'll notice that it sends me flying. So I need to basically tone that down a bit, but the idea is that you'll be able to shoot this at the ground in front of an enemy and, um, and you know, blow them away. But that, that looked pretty cool then, to be honest. I can just skim this close to the ground and then hopefully fire it up and still hit the target. So yeah, there you go. So um, that's basically what I've got now. I'm just going to hop out and hop into unlit mode so I can show you the map. Uh, the idea is that the entire map is built out of these little pieces here. So the entire map is built out of these building blocks. So door, door left, door right. Those door left and door right are for the interior parts of the door. One floor tile, uh, a floor tile with a corner pillar on it as highlighted there. Um, a set of stairs as seen here and some railings as seen up there. So the idea is really that there's not much to it, like the idea is that I can, whenever I've got some spare time, hop in with these pre-built components and lay out the map however I like. Uh, and I'm going to let build a lot of blueprints that are various enemies uh, and a lot of spells that are blueprints as well. So you can easily just kind of drag and drop a spell onto an enemy. So the idea is in this really uh, at least for the first part of the week, is to set up a system that allows me to easily create content. So if at the end of the week I've only got the one, this one level, but I have all the systems in place that it would take me 20 minutes to lay out the layout of my own level, add in a couple of mobs or whatever, and then make a way to teleport between the two, then I'd say that was a job well done. So I'll just pop back to the beginning. So I've woken up in the room, I've got my staff, um, my particle effects are working, so I'm going to adventure through here now. And you can crouch with C, but it's not very good. That was just something I threw in. Um, so yeah, we can lock onto that target. And I could fire it out that way. And it would curve round and try and hit. Yeah, so that's a homing part. It's a homing... Um, I forget what they call it now. I'm just going to actually double check that for you guys. It's a homing projectile movement system. Um it tried to curve them, but obviously it was too late. Uh, yeah, so the idea is that you come in here, there'll be some mobs in here, maybe a boss in this part. 
There, you can walk on down the tunnel, and then you can see. I could probably try and curve the bullet around there and try and. Yes. So I can't. I, I can directly see him, but I mean, if I could fire it from here. You know, I can hit an enemy that's out of my view with that. I think that system's really cool. I'm sorry that I've focused so much on that. But yeah, if we come on down the corridor, there's a door here. We open the door and we're presented with the leaving portal for the map. So we would walk into here and it would teleport us to the next level. And the idea in the next level is that I just simply use the pieces that I've already built in Google SketchUp, lay out a new model, drop in some new bosses and, you know, loot chests. So the idea is that... Um, I'm just basically explaining the concept right now. The loot chest will provide you with maybe a different staff, maybe fell magic. Maybe, you know, if I've got time on this, I'd l I would I would like to work on this for longer than the week, but we'll see. Um, if you don't like fell magic so much, maybe you can switch to arcane. It changes the looks of the spells, changes the way that they fire. Um, there, I am also going to be doing a talent system. So basically, I'm just going to stick with the one spell in the game. But as you reach, let's say you start at level 1, oh yeah, there'll also be a leveling system. So you reach level 5, and you can level up your Fell Blast, or you can unlock, uh, say, Fell Knockback or something. And Fell Knockback would basically do um, an explosion around you, pushing away all enemies, but keeping you still. Um, and you could, Or you could upgrade your Fell... Oh, excuse me, it's just gone to a.m. You could upgrade your, uh, your Fell Spell, Spell Fell, whatever. And uh, make sure that, so instead of firing one bolt, so if you notice when I fire the one bolt here, it could fire three instead. Uh, the other thing I need to do now is add add on the fact that these take damage, so you take damage when these hit you. The explosion needs to be turned down, but yeah, I think this um, particle effect is really cool. Of exploding the particles out and then sticking them on the wall for a various amount of time as they fade away. So I might actually have that as part of a... A, um, so if there's an area that's very dark, you might have to just shoot the wall with your thing to gain light to try and find your way through a maze or something like that. So really, I am focusing very much on particle effects, it seems, this time, because I just, I've just i never really done this much with particles before, and I'm finding, finding them to be so interesting. So I have like a uh, my various particle effects here. This is the particle effect for the explosion. Um can see there. Also there's the particle effect for the fire on the sconces on the wall, which looks pretty awful I will admit, but you know, it works, it emits light, you know, <laughs> if it's not stupid if it works right. Uh, and the spell fire, so this is the little orb that flies, the little hellfire thing. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I really got to report for today. I don't think that's bad for a first day's work. Tomorrow I would like to take a look at getting um, the ability to damage the enemies, ability to level up, and also try and put the talent system in so that you can sort of rip off of World of Warcraft, but you know, the idea that you can level up skills. Uh, I would also like to add a skill bar and add multiple skills. So you have, at the minute, you right-click to lock onto a target, and you left-click to fire your spell and it's E to interact with things like doors. Um, but I think it would be much more interesting if I had, to say, four spells, and you had to use one, two, three, and four in order to... Um, wow, what a shot. In order to, um, to use your different abilities, so instead of just having them on the left click. But you could maybe bind a main one, so like this felt blast or something, to the left click. This has got a one-second cooldown. So yeah, anyway, I'll leave that with you as I make a a disco in this hall. Um, as always, guys, if you're finding these uh, game tutorials and stuff interesting, please do subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out more content, and your subscription really encourages me to do that. Um, again, if you like this video, like the like the video, leave me a comment below of what you think of the particle effects, what you're thinking of the game so far after after one day, and also let me know if you'd like me to do any tutorials. Um, based on anything you've seen in the game so far. Uh, stay subscribed if you want to see my upcoming videos, and drop me a like if you wouldn't mind, and a dislike if you dislike what I've built so far. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next video.